The Lions Club still have funds to help us? Or we I don't know in 20 years who may or may not have money to help. I know that I got on the Carnes, you know, and plant, and yeah. they have on there where you continue donating. They, they are still collecting donations for the upkeep of their parks and whatever. Well, they have a swimming pool at their park. Yes. So they, they, they have a lot of uh, cost to upkeep a swimming pool. But yeah, the town agreed to take care. Once we built it as a community initiative, this Board of Aldermen voted unanimously to take care of the maintenance, the security, the safety, um, et cetera, upkeep. So yeah, so in 20 years, and as long as the town does a good job of enforcing the safety and security of that, you know, making sure that people don't drive any equipment on it, making sure, you know, the lawn crew doesn't drive lawn mowers across it, et cetera, as long as the town is good stewards of that, it should last 20 years. If the town isn't a good steward of that, it may last five to ten. Uh, that, that's, of course, a town responsibility and always has been. Okay, Yes, ma'am. I would like to ask a question. Who is going to be responsible if you have a child down there that gets hurt bad? Who's responsible? Is that, is that the city's responsible? Is that your house responsible? No, ma'am. We, we build it and turn it over to the town. And it, other than a couple of things that we've asked for going forward, the town, would their insurance policy, and you can ask your attorney, Adam Bullock, but the town's insurance policy, just like Asbury Park or any other park, would kick in the same. Okay. And another thing, you said it wasn't discussed your last month, uh, Thursday night when I sat right there on the Planning Commission. This was all talked about here. Even the eight, uh, six foot fence, you mentioned the six foot fence, and all this stuff you've talked about, we talked about it here the other night. And, yes, ma'am. And we talked about it at every planning commission meeting for the past two years. Yes. But this was, I've been to all the planning commission meetings, and, and this was the only time I had heard. No, we talked about it. He's been to the planning commission meeting several times. That was not his first planning commission meeting. Okay. Brandon, if you can, if you can get some details to Teresa, and then she can distribute to the council members and to our bill inspector, you know, that's that, that's all we're asking is some details. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's, the, that, that's, concern, that's all we're asking, just for details. Of course, okay. My only now, concern is the, the the window we're up against. Well, I can the town work with us to well, make sure that we accomplish I understand, our deadlines? I understand that. But now, if certain things like the drainage needs to be fixed before, before you know, that's that's an issue that has to be fixed. And it's nobody's denying that it's going to be. Okay. Well, will it be done by May first? The drainage. Yeah. The the drainage, just like I said earlier, should be done by the end of this week. We don't we don't foresee it shooting. We don't foresee it shooting longer. So I'd like to. I mean. I, Maybe address it a little bit. So I did get with the. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Oh, I'm Go ahead, sorry. Josh. So I did get with uh, the city street department today and this morning very early and went over there and measured the road. So the road's only 22, 23 foot wide, all the road is. That's all it is. You know, unfortunately, we've been put in this position now. Uh, to So you got, you got to have, by code, you need 12 foot for a van with a wheelchair access out of it, right? That's what everybody recommends. So if you take 12 foot of that, then you only got 11 foot left, which only makes that road accessible on for one car. Two cars cannot pass on 11 foot. Like I said, take that fence so and that's, that's fine, but what he's proposing, if we do that, and I, I'm not opposed to that, if we do that, then we're gonna to have to come up with the money. That's what he's pretty much telling us. And the, the bigger concern is if we just kind of move this. Yes, that's what he's saying. Okay. I've got a question. How much is the park? What, what is the cost of the park all the day? What is the cost of everything? Cash. Everything, cash between everything, cash and what income. What Lions Club has put in there? Yeah. What fundraisers put in there? What does the whole thing cost today? Great question. So with in-kind donations and everything, you're looking at about a three-quarter million dollar park, not counting the land. Okay, what, Josh, what is the standard road? A standard road that you pass side by side, what is that with your dimensions on the side? David, do you know? So, and the, so basically the road ain't even big enough to make a two-way road. Well, I'm having a hard time vision, and you said 30 parking spaces or more. Yeah. 
I don't go up that road all the time, and I'm visioning five cars down through there. Yeah. Unless yeah. there's somewhere else that's going to be parking, or is it going to go around the park? Or yeah. Thank, thank you, Randy. Just brought. And let me be clear. These would be, I won't say parallel, but if here's the road, they'll be at an angle. And so that exactly. So that allows for safer backing up. Uh, also allows us to get some more spaces in. Brandy can be the first one to tell you, especially when you're looking at handicap inclusive. Uh, and Lorelai agrees. <laughs> but when you're talking about inclusive parking spaces, you want ample side on, on the side as well. But we we hope that there are so many kids on this that the town of Carroll says, let's build three more. <laughs> you know, that's 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 what we want. Yeah, we so our group, and this isn't something that we're going to die on a hill about by all means. When we sat down with the Board of Aldermen, we said that one thing we wanted to retain was naming rights. We didn't want to be the ones out here working, you know, doing roadblocks, selling t shirts, having dinners, hosting fundraisers. We didn't want to put all of that work into this park and somebody come in in 10 years, all this Board of Aldermen has been replaced or said, hey, this is too stressful, whatever, and somebody come in and change the name of the park. So we've always retained the ability to name that park, whatever our group sees fit. And that was an agreement from day one with the town of Carroll. Uh, after a lot of discussion amongst our group, typically something like this, you name it after your biggest donor. In this case, it's Lions Club. Uh, we have a group based out of Chicago, Illinois, with local chapters here who gave money to a community they've never been to to support kids they'll probably never meet. Um, and so we thought, well, we can name this the Lions Club Park, but we really want to keep it careful cares. You know, this organization over the last two years has become the most active nonprofit organization in Campbell County. We've been out doing more work uh, than any other nonprofit in our county has and raising more money and, and mobilizing more young people especially. So we thought, how cool would it be to keep it careful cares? But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion. Again, even the Planning Commission didn't know the name of that road. Um, in fact, they argued with me and I said, no, it's School Hill Road. And I actually had to provide pictures. Um, and, and so nobody knew what the name of that was. And it's got multiple names. So we thought, well, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in our opinion to have a playground located at 100 School Hill Road. I'm young enough to remember, or I'm old enough, I should say, to remember when there was a school there. I went to Carable, um, at least for a year I did. Um, but, you know, future generations aren't going to know there was a school there. Uh, future generations are people that are driving down the interstate and Googling. If she interrupts me again, Mayor, can you please do something? Because this is okay. Great. He was just asking a question, but you weren't listening. So. Okay. Then why don't you ask again? Please, please, please. Okay. This was at the Planning Commission the other night. Uh, it was worse. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so we thought that, um, we thought, listen, if you're driving down the interstate, we hope people are Googling places to get off the interstate where they can see what a cool, cool community Carable is, where they can spend money here, where they can eat at a local restaurant, where they can buy gas locally and let their kids play. Um, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have a playground, in our opinion, located at School Hill Road because people are going to be looking for a school. But so that's history. So, I mean, that's part of Carable. And again, it's not a hill we're going to die on. You, no only, you only went to Carable for one year. People in here went to Carable for a lot of years. And all the hidden costs and hidden um, uh, things you haven't brought out, that's why everybody's here. They don't agree with this. This is a part of the history of this town. And for you to disregard it like you're doing, trying to treat these folks like they don't know, they do know. And there needs to be a compromise, and it's not to make that a one-way road. Right. And we're here to listen to compromise. We'd love to reach a compromise tonight. That's our goal. Again, just like I've said from the beginning, I respect everybody's opinion. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody. If it stays school, he'll But you are. But the, what, what, does the history, what does the history this. of this town have anything well, to do with me? Name a lot to a lot of people. Name it a road. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us born and raised here. And that's I, I, I went to here for five years. I mean, I mean, I work at Carroll Elementary School. Work at the old school. Work at the new school. Good. Let me be so, clear. I don't care if it's Bob Jones Lane. You don't have the consensus. Well, you're saying you're saying that he's disregarding as far as 
the parking, I don't really, I that doesn't, and then you're saying they, you're kind of going back and forth. All right, all right, all right. Oh, okay. Hey, one thing. No, no, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. This is, this is sad. Hang on, hang on. So, so, so I'm saying so I've thought about, I've, honestly, I've thought about this name change. So, so I've thought about this name change, and I think if we're going to change it, then it ought to be changed as somebody that's pioneered away through Caribou. It should be named after somebody that's pioneered away through Caribou. And if we're going to approach this, somebody that can get some recognition, somebody that's worked in this Caribou Fire Department for 50 years, Somebody that's really been here, been a, been somebody of the of the city that means something. I'm okay with letting Lions Club have a plaque because they need to be recognized. I, I don't doubt that one second. But I, I, I've thought about this all weekend when I've heard this come up. Listen, there's not a more respectful man than James Hatmaker Wade that could be called. James Hatmaker is a pillar of this community that spent a lot of time in this city hall. And I don't know if anybody here would have any rejection to be named James Hackmaker Way. I know, I know some people, if we're going to change it, that's if we don't change it, I'm fine with that. But if we're going to change it, it should be recognized for somebody in Careful that's pioneered a way through Careful. Right. Mr. Monday, we don't, this is, let me be clear, this is not like something that we're going to cry over. I mean, it's, it, we, we don't really care. We just propose it as a, hey, wouldn't this be cool? We didn't mean to disrespect anybody. Uh, or anything like that. We just brought it as a point of conversation. The but do you understand where we're coming from? Because we didn't know anything about changing the roads until now. And that's why we're all here. And we're not opposed to that playground. We love kids. Eugene loves kids. He's very good to kids. Uh, everyone here loves kids. She's good to kids. Everyone here loves kids. There's no one here that doesn't want them to have a playground or any of them. And, and, but if we had known this in the beginning and yet had made plans to tell us and how to do it and what to do, we would not be sitting here right now. And, and, and I promise and you. And I don't that. disagree. We've been as open and transparent as possible. There's not a single person in this room who has contacted any of our group members. But if you had put it out there and let us at which the neighborhood and let, how many No, you better knock on my door and say that this is going to hey, I've listened to you. I want to say something and then I'll be done and I'm leaving. And you never knocked on my door and said anything to me. If you had, I would have let you know, I would have said, no, please don't change the road or don't change the name. But like he said, I don't care for Hat Baker. I love him. I, that's a very good point right there. You know, I've sat here through all of this and I've listened to you and I appreciate everything you said and what you're doing. But, you know, we, we you know, we did not know about this in the beginning. If we had, we, we would have taken care of it before. Well, I apologize that nobody from our group knocked on your door. Um, we, we and tried. I live at the top of that hill. Yes, you go to the top of that hill, my house is sitting right there. And I have lived there for a lot of years. Yes, for my sense of 38, I've been there 38 years. And we've shared information about the playground on every news source in Campbell County. We've I'm on Facebook all the time. I've read all your stuff. I'm, I'm actually probably part of your group. I've read the paper. I do do, you know, I, I'm i yes, very sociable on all this stuff. And I've not seen anything about the road, changing the name. If I had it, I would have been knocking over here on this door way before now. Right. And that's all I want to say. And I'm leaving because, you know, I'm tired and, and I'm disabled and I've had a hard day. So <laughs> I've had a lot go wrong. Well, and let me say, I think I think we've talked enough, especially. I just, I'm going to say one thing. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'm about to sit down, Mr. Okay, Walsh. just one thing. Okay, I'm about to sit down. We've accomplished our purpose. We've stirred up a good discussion. We learned a lot of things that we didn't know about. And we've learned that you're trying to build a park with no plan. Right. Dan, nice. now wait. Now wait. She's not had one shot to say one thing. Okay. We were talking about the drainage plan back there, and I mowed that grass several times, and these guys that work for the city of Carroll knows that you couldn't mow it every time you mowed the rest of the grass, you could mow up your tractor and get stuck. Is that right, Mr. Muse? All right, now what plan have you made on that drainage? Mr. Atkins knows his business. 
You can't do that in 15 minutes. Okay, we open that up. And some of you said, well, there's been no discussion about a, uh, the parking lot. This gentleman back here was here a while ago. He used to be on the council. He said, oh, yes, a lot of discussion. Now, there's been a lot of confusion. Well, why do you all have a planning commission? Why don't you ask Janet that? She sat on it for 25 years. Why don't you ask her that? Well, she didn't agree with your recommendation. <laughs> you